Hello, it's Sarah, and I have a project share today. I was inspired, it was a couple weeks ago though, mind you, because I've been crocheting and finishing up my needle books and things, but, and then I got into milk glass. But anyway, this little book was inspired by Sari, her name is Sari Hanninen, and she did some collage stamping. Then I saw another video by Jan Gray where she was doing collage stamping. And then finally, Stampyra had done a Prima Doll mini album. So having seen all those videos, I kind of got inspired to do this. Now this is my version of, I did a little bit of collage stamping and I did a little bit of the Prima Doll book type thing. But it is very monochromatic and you know me, I like color. So I'm actually thinking of doing another one. I'm going to... Um, I have a few other projects to do and then I'm going to get back to my Prima Doll stamps because I got some of the new ones and I they're all in here actually. So let me go ahead and start showing because I want to get um, under 10 minutes. The front obviously just the, my little Prima Doll and believe in your dreams, live, love, laugh, be yourself, enjoy life's moments. That's um, a Kaiser Craft sentiment set and I just used all those, put them on there, called it done. Um, then inside the first two pages, I didn't do any collage stamping yet. This is the two, I got two of the new um, Julie Nutting stamps. Just uh, Lots of Love and Party Girl are the two um, card making sets that she put out. So I just put them on a piece of Nina, um, this is Nina khaki colored paper and did some Copic coloring and put them on the first two pages. Now I'm getting to the collage um, stamping. And what Sari did was she had actually, she used um, her archival inks and I don't have a lot of colors in those, but I did have the uh, Memento, no, what are these? Are these Memento? They're called Sukuneko Versamark, Versamagic, I'm sorry. <laughs> but these are chalk inks, and I did have these because you can buy these in sets. So I just kind of tried to stay monochromatic, which is hard for me. You know, I like color. But, um, and I just collage stamped all around. I just used different stamp sets that I had and stamped that on the, um, pr the Nina uh, khaki colored paper. And then I put um, one of the girls on each page with some sentiments some kind of like affirmation sentiment. So um, this is how it turned out and I'm pretty happy with it and it's also inspired me to do another one that's a lot more girly and colorful because Stampyra's was just so pretty and actually these I did like a couple weeks ago because I was waiting for the new stamps to come. So I had to, um, oh and then I put these houses which I hadn't used, these are Penny Black stamps and I just wanted to play with them too. So every other page, like this this, pa this layout is collage stamping. Then this layout is just a piece of paper that's kind of um, collaged already. It, ha it either has, you know, some type of stamping. And then I just did um, paper piecing on top of it with uh, some more affirmations. So it's a little bit of a mishmash. Um, I didn't want to do this, this stamp technique on every page. I did it like every other page. So um, it's just the girls that I've had and then some new ones. But I want to get to, like see here, this one, I stamped the houses in the very background in the faintest color. See? And then I just, it's just a mishmash of a bunch of stamps. Because Sari has like every Tim Holtz stamp set, I swear, like known to man. So I just used what I had. I didn't have them all. And then this page again, it's just more of a collage paper that I used. And then I just um, cut out some of the um, pieces from other stamps and put uh, paper piece them onto the page. Then the next one is a collage sheet one or a collage stamping technique with some more girls, but I'm gonna to get to this one page. This is the page I want to get to. So this was empty and then the back page was empty. I was waiting for these girls to come because I got I got five of the new Julie Nutting ones, which I really like these. I like how they're packaged because you can, when you put them away, you can see which ones go where. And so I have five of them and then I got the two cards. I only got two of the card uh, size ones. But these two I did last night, and it was fun because I hadn't done it in a while. I've been crocheting and, um, you know, playing with my milk glass and stuff. But uh, 
this, I don't know, I just had fun um, paper piecing and I love her camo and pink outfit. Like she is super cool. And it says dance to your own music. I just really had fun with that. And then I added the Wink Estella on everything. I ended up going back to all my dolls and like using my Copics to like shade their clothes too. Um, because I just like, I started playing and I didn't realize that I hadn't done that like on all of them. And then I did. And it just, I don't know because... <sighs> Oh, excuse me. On Sari's, she actually just used a printed piece of paper for their clothes. It was very monochromatic. But I, I don't know. I just loved her outfit, this one. She is super cool, this one. That's adorable. So then I started getting inspired more to do um, another book with dolls. And so this was the last page. I got the new Tim Holtz. This one is called... Paris to London, and it's the smaller version of two sets, a London and a Paris set, and then he combined the both of them, so I had just gotten that one too recently, so I wanted to use that, and I did, so it's just like a map paper in the background, and then I just stamped all these images from London and Paris, and then put these two girls on there. She's one of the new ones, which I just love how she turned out too. Um... You know, but I, it was just, it, it was fun again, because I had done this a couple weeks ago, and then doing it last night made me think I got more inspired to do it again, because, um, Stampyra had her, um, I'll put the, this information in the description box, because I think it, you guys would enjoy, um, checking out the tutorials and stuff on, um, the collage technique, and, uh, just what, what Jan did with her card, too, was super cool. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, oh, Stampyra's book. Like, you know what I think I might do? I might just do a book with, with like six pages and do one per month, like with a month theme, like say for, you know, for February, you could do a Valentine's, like you would a tag, you know, do a tag and just totally theme it to that month. And then each page and put like an affirmation or maybe put, you could put a place for a picture and have a picture in there from that month or something. I don't know. I just, it just all of a sudden got me really inspired to, um, to play with the dolls again. Um, and I'm a little disappointed that I didn't get, uh, the, the ones she put out with the, um, the dyes in them, or at least there's one that's, um, it's accessories, I guess. I, I don't know the name of it, but it's it has like a pocketbook and different hats and different hair and stuff like that. I don't know. They just looked really cool um, to play with. They're just a bit more expensive, and I don't really mind fussy cutting. I kind of, I don't know. I like it sometimes, but uh, I love this page. This page is so cute. I don't know. These girls are just amazing. So um, that's it, guys. I just wanted to share that. And this was just something I did for me, kind of. I don't know. I just wanted to play, um, you know, because I've, I've been really kind of busy with the store stuff, trying to think about what people want to buy um, for my Etsy shop. So I got away from just crafting for me for a minute. Now I have to make a baby book for my niece's teacher. So, um, but I'll be back with another video. I wanted to show an update of what I did with my shabby chic area. So that's it, guys. Thanks for watching.